Hi everyone, Cameron Reynolds here, and I want to show you the qualities of a queen in this quick little video. As you can see, there's a bunch of bees on these frames. Some would say this looks pretty darn good. I don't. You see the bees coming in there, they're foraging good, and right now we're in the middle of a prime nectar flow. So this should really show you the true colors of your queen. Is she laying good? Is she laying bad? I mean, these bees have plenty, plenty of resources, plenty of frame coverage, and there's, there's plenty of nurse bees and bees of all ages to be able to have good looking patterns. And this queen does not. Look at that shotgun pattern. That's semi okay. Out of all these frames, we just have iffy patterns. That's not acceptable. And a colony like this will never produce well. It's always going to be weaker at the tougher times of the year. It's going to more readily fail. It's going to struggle more. It's just never going to really get anywhere. And so we're taking colonies like this. Every operation has them. And we're breaking them down. Killing the queen. Giving her the hive tool test. And we're, we have a bunch of queen cells. And we're going to split this into three hives. And we're going to put a queen cell in each one. Yeah, that gives us a shot at three. What are those goobers doing over there? Anywho. Gotta watch those kids. My wife's over there too, so we're, we're in good shape. But anyways, there's the... Uh, took me a little while to find her. Let's see if we can get her in there. Yep, there's the queen. She looks big, all of those things, but she's not good. It doesn't matter. Ultimately, the pattern tells you everything. I don't see any signs of disease in here. I don't see, uh, you know, sometimes if there's not enough bee coverage, some of the larvae will get chilled earlier in the season. And so you could have a good queen with a bad pattern because of that. But they have plenty of bees. What it is, is she was not mated properly for whatever reason. This was a purchase queen, I might add. And she's just, she was probably laying a ton of eggs. Uh, from what I can tell by looking at the egg pattern, it's fantastic. But the problem is, is genetically some of those fertilized eggs, they're either gen genetically not diverse enough, there's too much inbreeding, or she could be laying a few drone eggs every now and then. Whatever it is, the bees can detect that at a certain age and they cannibalize that larva because they don't want that. And that's why you end up with the shotgun pattern. So anywho, if you see this in this type of situation, this is a sign that this colony probably is never going to get anywhere. FYI, we have colonies that were made at the same time that are nearly twice as strong because their queens have patterns that are solid and beautiful. Thanks for watching the video.